the standard model of giving out a piece of coursework in September and expecting the students to return it in May does not work. Common sense says that the students will only start the work once they feel confident they can complete it. And for the best students, that's likely to be a few weeks before the hand-in date. The less diligent students are either late or fail to submit at all. A better system for the coursework is to break it down so that students have something to show on a regular basis. This has three advantages. First, the work gets completed. Second, the progress of the individuals can be monitored more closely. And finally, early success leads to increased motivation. This proposal takes this idea one stage further. Here, the students would be presented with and assessed on one item of learning at a time, which I'm calling an atom of learning. An atom would have the following five characteristics. An atom is a discrete unit of learning. An atom does not have a level since the same atom may be used for qualifications at different levels. If an atom relies on prerequisite knowledge, then these prerequisite atoms should be in separate atoms. Once completed, an atom stays owned for life. And fifth, an atom should be presented in a format suitable to all learning styles. It would then be possible to map these atoms to qualifications, and there will be overlaps. For example, an atom on calculating a mean would be appropriate for GCSE mathematics, A-level biology, and maybe a university course. The atom is neutral to the level. It's the context into which the atom is put that gives it the level. The fifth point on the list above, the learning style independence, is important in several ways. All of us who teach hope to present the materials in the most understandable format, but in reality we do so in the way that we work best. Our students come from other educational experiences, so our way of doing things may confuse them, through no fault of theirs or ours. If the atoms are presented in several different ways, as text, as videos, as MP3s, for example, then the student is not bound to follow our way. If a lot of people produce a lot of atoms, then the students will have the opportunity to use the atom which explains the topic in their preferred way. This would be open learning. A further distinction to be made is that the physical implementation of an atom is the A page, an abbreviation of atomic page. And whilst this could be on paper, a web page would be more appropriate, since it would allow hyperlinking to the various learning media. The intention is to have two interlinked websites, one to allow people to create and consume atoms, and the other to handle the administrative side. This would separate the two functions more easily and more logically. These sites are www o-vl.com, or oval as we call it, and www.edulevel.com, respectively. Oval will allow anyone to create an A-page, to add breadth of learning experience to all. Apart from the links to text, videos and MP3s, an A-page would also have a self-assessment quiz and allow coursework to be submitted for the materials covered thus linking process and product for the student. The atomization of learning would need monitoring, and this is where people would use EduLevel. This site will allow staff to set up a course, mark submitted atoms, and monitor the progress of their students. They can do so from their own virtual online office. The students progress through their goals, and they too have their own online office where they can view the feedback uh, that, that is given to them by the staff. 
edu level will also contain a virtual common room which to which everyone will have access here summary statistics will appear but only if there's sufficient quantity of data to ensure that no individual or individual student can be identified whilst both sites will share a common database the educational and administrative functions will be separated this system will mean that students can progress at a pace with which they are comfortable. Student progress would not be tied to a scheme of work, but to their level of motivation and to the monitoring that they receive. An increase of speed of feedback and the nature of the tasks involved could be expected to increase achievement. Portions of this have already been trialled and the results for these were very positive. Now it would be nice to provide an academic justification for atomization.